Robert, I want to start by asking you, with the explosion of home renos, the so-called HGTV effect, everybody watching home renos and then doing them uh, themselves, were you surprised by uh, the announcement from Lowe's yesterday? I was a little surprised because um, Lowe's is a, a strong brand and it's a, a big competitor to the other box uh, store Home Depot, but not really because I think Canada is a little bit different than the U.S. There are two other players besides their arch rival Home Depot, Canadian Tire and Home Hardware both with very strong and extensive footprints. So when you think of what happened when Best Buy purchased Future Shop, you can see then eventually they disposed of the Future Shop chain to control and to basically um, boost up Best Buy and focus on their strong brand. I think that's what's happening here as well. So it's not really a collapse of the so-called home reno sector as much as it just is a competitive thing? Exactly. And a lot of the home hardware stores are focusing both on the retail segment and the professional segment. So the professional segment is kind of what they call Amazon proof. Uh, the consumer segment has to, you know, adapt and evolve. And that's where online is going to play an increasing role, as they say. But this is not because of online and in fact online Lowe's is positioned uh, relatively strongly online and they've done some smart things like they've acquired the Craftsman line of tools which used to be one of the kind of crown jewels of Sears. They had sure. Kenmore and they had Craftsman. So now uh, they are the exclusive retailer for Craftsman. As a strategy that's worked really well for Canadian Tire and Home Hardware over the years to have these exclusive great products and tools. So I think they're getting ready also for a little tougher economy because interest rates are going up and a lot of these stores were put really close to each other. I think they announced that a lot of these stores are within a few miles of each other. The other thing is it was mostly the Rona stores that they closed. So I think this is just part of this phase of Lowe's getting ready for the next part of their evolution. Okay, let's look at some other segments or some uh, other sectors that might be making similar uh, announcements uh, in the future. Uh, what sort of sectors will you be watching? I'll be watching uh, two things. One, certain sectors like fashion, uh, health and beauty, um, toys, um, baby care. So these are products now that consumers are starting to learn that you can buy online. It can be quite convenient. I'll also be looking for fashion. I think that's one where there's middle of the road brands that are really vulnerable. Generally, the lower end off price is okay, higher end, but anything in the middle is vulnerable unless there's a strong positioning. But then again, it's not all doom and gloom. You look at a brand like Aritzia from Vancouver, a Canadian brand um, focused on a young female target offering a product between H&M and Zara, that disposable fashion and okay. high end, and connecting. All right, Robert Levy with Brand Spark and Shopper Army Force. Uh, Robert, good to see you as always. Thanks so much. Pleasure.